what is good? Thank you for joining us. This is I Have Notes, the podcast where cool friends just have cool opinions on things like animation and just fun stuff. Anywho, this show is brought to you by, let's pull up that lower third, brought to you by ExpressVPN. Don't let others track what you're doing. Anonymize yourself at expressvpn.com forward slash RTTV. And on top of that note, get a free Rooster account so you can just join us in the chat. So you can just type it up and I'm not going to use my super clickety clackety keyboard. But let's get to some introductions. I am your host. I am Noel Wiggins. And let me pass it to the real host who, <laughs> the real host of I Have Notes, the creative Valkyrie herself, Mrs. Issa Badiola. Creative Valkyrie and a Mrs. I married. <laughs> <laughs> And who else do we have? We have a very special guest with us today. She is probably one of the sweetest and kindest and most powerful individuals I've ever met. We have Nikki Miles. Yay, I thought Nikki. that was Kayla's introduction, honestly. <laughs> I'm not nice. No, I got a good one. I got a good nice. one coming up. I got a good one. All right, here's here we go. Here we go. And now we have the high key genius, bring low, out, bring out. low key bring diabolical. Out, bring out. And she's got a dope podcast coming out that we'll talk about soon. Let's give it up for Kayla Milton. <laughs> bring them out, bring them out. It's yeah, I told yeah. Noel, I told Noel I was gonna derail his whole shit because he was being uptight. So I'm sorry to Dude, y'all in just, advance. Just, just, just derail it right now. Derail it right now. I don't know what I got going on. I'm, I'm supposed to hit some, some, some benchmark. I already forgot. Mike had already gave me the whole spiel. I forgot everything you said, Mike. I need to apologize ahead of time. <clears throat> so let's get into this. Uh, let's see. Let's get some uh, introductions going. How, All right. How's everybody doing today? We're surviving. A okay. Nice. Surviving. Nice. Yeah, that's that's the move. That was off to a dope start. Let's, <laughs> let's do that again. Let's do that again. Let's, let's run that back. Bring them out. Bring them out. How is everybody doing today? Bring them out. Bring them out. <laughs> so ready to be here. Woo! <laughs> Is murder? Is that DM? Who is that? That is murder. Is that murder? <laughs> Wait, no, that's Ja Rule. Ja Rule. Yeah. Where's Ja? ja? <laughs> bro, he's laying low after Firefest, bro. Don't invoke him. <laughs> Don't remind people. Don't no, he came out. He came, he came out with the stonks, right? right yeah. Nikki, is that what you're gonna say? Yeah, what he was you? like, you know, go all in on GameStop. He didn't know what he was talking <laughs> about, but he was there. I told you, don't say its name. <laughs> I don't uh, know, like, are, Nick, is it okay uh, to trust Ja Rule in anything? Like, the last time I saw Ja Rule, yeah, it was the Firefest thing. Don't trust him there. And then the last time I saw him, he was in the movie Fast and Furious, and he lost the race. And oh, he was damn. literally just going, Monica! So I don't think I can trust Ja Rule for <laughs> any, in any, there's no applicable situation where someone's like, hey man, Ja said it, and I, I kind of believe him. I, I don't think that, Joss. said no one Joss ever. Ja said it. <laughs> yeah, I just do what Ja do. <laughs> Where ja. is Jaw? <laughs> oh. That's, that's the nice character. episode of the Red Web. Let's, let's <laughs> do some character introductions here. Let's mm. see. Let's let's start with Nikki. Nikki Miles, tell the audience what you do here. What brought you yeah. here? Yeah. So I'm Nikki. I'm on the People Team. I saw Emily in chat. What up, Emily? Um, yay, yay. <laughs> my this is my first year at Rooster Teeth. Um, officially tomorrow, actually. So. Love being here. Um, what'd you say? Congratulations. Oh. It's murder. Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm super excited to be here. This is my first time on a stream, so I hope I don't fuck it up. Sorry. Well, there you go. <laughs> this is your it's first time on any stream? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, man. See, and, and I had to host it for you. I'm, I'm sorry about that. No, I love this. <laughs> Yeah, Nikki is amazing. Nikki, you have my, you share the same name as my sister. Uh, so okay. there's no excuse that I could ever forget your name. So if I ever, just please, just just murder me if I forget oh, I, your name. Yeah, I'm going to curb no stomp you. Yeah. It's murder. <laughs> just murder. <laughs> Noel. Um, What's up? There... <laughs> you call there's my name, a... Kayla? What's up? No, I said just murder. Noel. It was oh, that makes bit. Sense. I was that going sense. off the bit that we've been doing for the past three minutes. <laughs> Get it let's, right, Noel. Fuck. Let's, yeah, bro. <laughs> let's go to Kayla now. Kayla, tell us mm, what mm, you do. What you do. Mm, mm, uh, technically, uh, <laughs> I'm in sales, and I'm the reason that uh, Noel had to do that ExpressVPN ad up top. And uh, yeah, that's that's mostly my shtick. 
That's what I do. That's why I'm here. T mm -hmm. uh, drinks what what brought you mm -hmm. here? What what uh what brought both of you here to, oh, to Rooster Teeth? Like the Teeth? real story? Yeah, the real story. Like <laughs> oh, Nikki, know the do you want to go first? Oh uh, uh, yeah, Nikki, go first. I'll give the very family friendly version of my story. Um basically I hated my last job a lot. Um oh. That's yeah, it wasn't working out at all. So left there and was looking for something in HR because I'm really passionate about like diversity and inclusion and stuff like that. Um, so Rooster Teeth, uh, Brooke hit me up and all the interviews were amazing. Everybody was super cool. Um, so this and, just and now like... and and now it's murder. I'm gonna, murder. Keep that going. I'm gonna keep that going. Last time we did off the dome, this time it's gonna be it's murder. murder. <laughs> Kayla, tell us what's yeah, good. good. What's your story? What's good. What All right, you so I boom, I was in college, right? Um, <laughs> I and love I was this story. I was in college, and I was like, damn, I want to get a sociology degree real bad. My parents were like, we're not paying for a fine arts degree, so I said, all right, I guess I'll do marketing. It's the participation trophy of business school. Oh my um, god! And I didn't really want to do that, so like out of spite, I made sure that I was going to get only like entertainment industry jobs um that could like <laughs> let me do like fun stuff because my parents were like oh my god you have to go into business you have to work for like coca-cola or ups and i was like absolutely not so uh basically i just kept applying to internships at adult swim didn't get one did get one at tbs and tnt then while i was at tbs and tnt adult swim offered me a more full-time position so i took oh. that while i was there we were promoting a plethora of new shows one of the ways we did that was at rtx 2017 and i was like rooster teeth i kind of remember red versus blue so i went to rtx had a <laughs> blast uh barely remember it great time uh so when my position there was coming towards an end i was like oh my god i'm unhirable no one's ever gonna hire me i needed to apply a million different places and then i remembered the woman from full screen not rooster teeth uh that was working with us during rtx and i was like i'm just gonna apply at full screen so i did and then they sent me the rooster teeth and now i'm here <laughs> nice. that's my story nice. i'm sticking that. to it i love story. that story. Mm -hmm. story kayla when you started out with saying boom I thought you were going to hit us with this, like, I Kevin boom. Hart. I thought you were going to be like, okay, boom, got it, bam, oh, mm, got it. See, I'm in college, and then boom, mm, got it. I was so ready for it. I was Dude, so no. ready for it. And um, then, and with It's Murder. It's murder. <laughs> um, I cannot escape from the iron fist of AT&T. They've bought every company. That's how I lost my job at Adult Swim. They had a hiring freeze while I had a temporary position. So they couldn't hire me full time. So then I ended up at, the, at uh, Rooster Teeth, and then they bought... Full screen it's because they it's because of you kayla they needed you. me they, um, they needed to grab you that was papa at and wants you yeah papa at and t just my whole it, career basically it is, <laughs> mm -hmm. anyway. <It's> murder. <laughs> Lisa, feel free to stop me by any chance because i don't know i want to i want to do this quick shout out be a be a first member and then you can check out shows like Wrestling with the Week, streaming now on Rooster Teeth YouTube and podcasting platforms. All Elites Wrestling, Scorpio Sky, and Funhouse creator James Willems get together to break down the week of wrestling, pop culture, sports, music, sports. movies, and more. So yeah, be a be a first member, and then yeah, just meet us in the chat. We'll just we'll just be chilling there. All right, moving I, on. I, what are I, we, uh, wait, what are we I talking about, Issa? Hook us up. I wanted to ask. Um, I don't know uh, much about what drives you, Nikki, because uh, you and Kayla, I'd be really interested to know like um, what geeky things you guys are into, like if you guys are into anything animation specific or if you guys like playing video games. Uh, yeah. What, like, I'm what is, into, uh, what's your fave? I'm into all of that. Um, like my favorite shows are all animated. It's like Archer. Um, Ooh. Well, okay, so let me back up a little. I think Archer is partially my favorite because I love H. John Benjamin's voice. Yeah. So like anything that he's on, I'm all about. Um, but yeah, I play video games constantly. I've been on a Skyrim kick lately. Um, oh. Yeah, but I've been playing. So I've played it a billion times. I'm not going to get into how many times I've bought it. It's a little embarrassing. <laughs> But, it's, more um, than me. it's more than me which shocked me because i've bought it more than four times yeah. <laughs> it's definitely more than that um various oh. platforms very addish, various editions i, mm -hmm. I won't apologize you were to say a dish you, I you're an abbreviated dish that's how i know you bought it a lot you're like yeah. Yeah, i got the addition what's, what's, what's that guy's name ron ron howard is that the guy 
The director? That, the director? The, the, From Happy no, no, Days? Like the redhead? No, 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 no. The dude who's like the Bethesda joke. Like every time something happens, it's just like Ron Howard guy. I think that's his name. He's oh. like the dude, the Elder Scrolls guy. Oh, I don't even know. Anyway, he... Todd Howard. Todd Howard. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. Todd Howard. Yeah, the Bethesda guy. He basically has a full pipeline d- connected directly to Nikki's wallet. Is what we're learning. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's a problem. Um, it's a- can't wait till the next one comes out. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm so excited. I am always, almost always, a red guard. Um, but right now, I'm playing okay. as an Argonian. Um, anyone who knows my Twitch name <laughs> might not be surprised by that. I'm isn't, not going to say it. it. The, is it the busty Argonian? It, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the busty Argonian maid because there's a book in the game called the lusty Argonian maid, but somebody already took oh, that name, so I had to take busty. Yours is oh funnier. my god, it's oh, more ingenuitive. That's really funny. <laughs> yeah. Such a that's such cool. a fan of what? it. But yeah. Me and Nikki are also some of the biggest community fans, and that's why I appreciate Nikki. Is like yes. I can just like throw out a quick like troy barnes line and nikki will instantly know exactly what i'm talking <laughs> or i'll just literally go oh brit is in this and then, <laughs> and then nikki will know exactly what episode i am talking yes. about I that was it. the christmas episode that. that was spoken by taryn killam um oh because he was putting together this um like oh, the glee it parody. was their glee yes, yes. we gotta go to and the nationals everyone... we gotta go to the regionals, you gotta yes. go to regionals. <laughs> my favorite yeah. song from I'm... that episode is annie's without a doubt i sing it yes, every the christmas sexy christmas song <laughs> it's so good <laughs> it's so it's literally 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 i think me and zoe's friendship was based upon just that moment from that episode because this is the it is peak like i don't know if like this was the same for you but it's like the convergence of the like i love community and i was a fucking gleek and like seeing like Aww. they got the lighting they got the framing they got the set dressing they got the clothes and i was just like this is so perfect and then just seeing that just seeing her do this Dumb, stupid song gave me so much. Gives me so much joy. It's the best. It's the best. It's the best scene of the entire series. That so or the good. D, just all of the D and D episode. My oh, fir- the first episode I ever watched was the D and D episode where they were playing with Neil, and I was hooked yeah. immediately. Like, so that funny. episode makes me cry every time I watch it. But also, <laughs> it's my favorite episode. It's so good. That's valid. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I remember a um there's one tweet that I was like, mm, I get that. And it was um someone just saying like, yo man, I miss Don Glover when he was <laughs> when he was Troy <laughs> and not the Don Glover now. And I was like, I can get that. He's ascended now. He's too cool. Like how, like yeah. how do you how, like I'll tell a quick story real quick and then we'll get to Kayla. I remember like what was it? His album came out uh what like uh, because of the uh because of the because internet. The internet. Yeah. And oh, yeah. so he had that deep web tour. And he God, obviously so he hadn't he hadn't exploded yet. Right. Like he wasn't like as big as he was now. But I just remember I was like, man, that year it was like 2015, 16 or something like that. I went and saw Frank Ocean for the first time, which was off the chain. <laughs> then I went to go see Donald Glover's concert or Charles Gambino in this instance. And I got really sick. And I was so disappointed because I told myself, I was like, dude, if you don't go to this concert, which by the way, it was so small that it was like standing room only. So Mm -hmm. literally you just show up a little bit earlier and you already in the front row because there is no row. But I told myself, I was like, dude, if you don't go to this concert, you are going to miss the biggest opportunity because he's going to explode. And then I missed the concert. And obviously after that, he became effing Han, or no, not, not Han Solo, but he was in Solo as literally Lando. Yeah. And then the dude yeah. just became Simba. He became yeah. everything after yeah. that. And yeah. I was like, oh man. So to yeah. this day, I still think one day me and, and Donald Glover will be friends one day. I think we'll just, I think we'll vibe. I think we'll be like best friends, soulmates. We'll write a couple of tracks here and there. I yeah. don't know how it works out. We'll play You're it by You're a good ear. freestyler. <laughs> a I've freest- actually met him. But I was what? like, so I, he was at Fun 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 Fest in like 2014 or something like that. Um, and I was so excited to meet him because I was a fan of community. I was a fan of his music. And my ex-boyfriend actually introduced me to his music because I, or no, to his comedy because I didn't know anything about Derek comedy. And so like, oh I was just into everything he was doing at the time. And we go to Fun 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 Fest and I get the meet and greet pass and everything. I walk up to him and I'm just like, hi. 
and I hand him my program to sign and I just smile like an idiot at him. And my stupid ex over here is having a whole conversation with him. I was oh. so bitter after that. Wow. So bitter. That's what you get. Hi, hi. And now you Hello. now if you see him, you just gotta be, it's murder. <laughs> <time> <laughs> He's just gonna be like, I'm sorry, I don't know what we're talking about. Yes. yes. Oh my yes. god, that's so funny. It's literally perfect. See, I, I don't I never watched Glee, so I didn't I didn't catch these little uh these little like cues and, and like little homages Every, right here. Didn't they know gave that. everyone a character. Like it's oh god, I Oh that's anyway, so... don't get me started on Glee, please. Yeah. <laughs> All I remember, all I remember is, oh, Britta's in this. That's all. That's the biggest takeaway from that episode. That and we gotta go to regionals. It's so good. All right, let's go on to Kayla. Kayla, tell us what kind of what kind of nerdy stuff you into. Um, before I do that, I just want to follow up on the Donald Glover thing. I do have beef with him. Uh, no, how is that yeah. possible? Okay, yes. so the show Atlanta, wonderful. I blame it a hundred percent for the gentrification going on right now. No one knows oh. this. Issa knows this. I brought it up on the last stream we did. That's true. Listen, he showed white people how lit Atlanta was, and they were like, "Yo, let's go bet." And I'm just like, Fuck. "We got a green belt now, man." You know, so wait, 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 wait. So you're Kayla. telling me that like. You don't think that like Ti and mm. and any of like Outcast no. like help Ti ever bombs made They're scary. Bed? They're scary. When has Ti <laughs> ever made anything appealing? <laughs> it, didn't Ti come out with a movie called Atlanta, or is it exactly. ATL? It, ATL. It, it's <laughs> ATL, and it does not make it look fun, fun or whimsical or that mythical. is true. That it is makes true. you go like maybe I don't want to go to Atlanta. I don't, I don't know. Go to they Atlanta. do shit weird down there. <laughs> it's like I mean the best the best thing I feel like the best portraits of Atlanta are the television show Atlanta and the movie Roll Bounce. I love Roll oh, Bounce. Man, Roll Bounce is such a good movie. <laughs> such so a good, good. Movie. man big big shout out to Bow Wow or or yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's his real name? Shad um, Shad Shad Moss. Shad Moss. Shad Moss. Shad Moss. I saw somebody <laughs> said the other day his name was like Shadwick uh, hmm? Never mind. I don't remember. It's stupid now. <laughs> Shadwick Moss. No, it was something really dumb. It was like Shadwick Chadwick or something dumb. It, oh, out no. of context, it doesn't make sense, and I messed it up. So just, just skip me. Go away. <laughs> no, I would never skip you. I love you so much, Nikki. I love you, Kayla. <laughs> so um, Kayla's got beef question? with Donald Glover. I do. The, the was I was I was I bumping because of the internet while I worked out this morning? What of it? That doesn't mean I can't have beef. It, it makes the Migos relevant. Absolutely. Yeah, doesn't absolutely. mean I don't have beef. Yes. Listen. You got to give him a pass. You got to give him a pass because he brought so much. These two truths can coexist at the same yeah, time. They can coexist <laughs> with one another. So frenemies. They can live in how's harmony. That? How's that? Yeah, frenemies. Yeah. frenemies. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was the question? No, so the question, the question <laughs> was, what... What kind of nerdy stuff are you into? Like, what, what you watching? What you, yeah. what you drawing? I don't know what you do. What you uh, selling? I mean, oh God, that's so hard because, like, I feel like it's everything I do, so I don't think about it. I don't know. I've been, like, in a deep, like, anime hole lately, but when I'm not in an anime hole, I'm usually, like, re-watching Steven Universe nice. and mm. spending an ungodly amount of money on, like, merch and comic books. Um, this I have a bookshelf. None of them are novels. It's just all comic books. That white box down there are all singles. Nice. Uh, I have no impulse control. My bookshelf out there is like all of my other nerd shit. Uh, but I, I, I'd say like my biggest fandom is probably Steven Universe or Legend of Korra. Those are my two. Those are my two ones that I've been super into lately that aren't have, anime. That have I've you been rewatching. Seen, um, have you? So you say Legend of Korra, and the moment yeah. anyone says that they love Legend of Korra, the first thing I ask is. Have you seen Avatar: The Last Airbender? What are your thoughts between which one would you put on top? Which one's what better? Was I which put one's on top? Better? Um, I mean, like I, that's like apples and oranges because I feel like Avatar: The Last Airbender has that like s that mm, sexy nostalgia factor. Like I was eight, I wasn't paying bills when this came out. Like it's just like, oh man, I remember being like fucking eight years old and like seeing this shit for the first time and being like, yeah, that's dope. Elements Avatar Airbending. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh He's the last one. I don't understand that this is teaching me about grief and loss and like socio political economic like w like war is bad. Like um so like that's like a different vibe. And then like with Legend of Korra, 
that came out like i was in college i'm an adult like you're a different man, person the police are bad and they're showing me that through like oh uh, the metal benders being taken over by kuvira in the whatever season and i'm just like yeah no we should be allowed to uh, protest out on the streets at night and not be arrested that's an episode that happened that i watched this summer it felt <laughs> oh way God. too on the nose um i think they're both very good series in their own different ways and that you shouldn't compare them because like the girls don't have to be fighting let everyone be a queen um but i'm a lesbian so poor <laughs> i love that <laughs> answer yo i love that kayla i'm gonna i can't help mm-hmm. it you have you have these mannerisms <laughs> and i'm gonna start to adopt them and i'm gonna kind of do this mm-hmm. thing right here where i'm just gonna be like i don't want to have to do this i'm gonna do that i just love Listen, your mannerisms it's so much TikTok. it's ticked oh it's tiktok <laughs> um <laughs> It's this TikTok. Is, oh, this, I hate how, it. this is how I dance at dance parties. It's like whenever they're, everyone's in a circle and someone does one thing, then you just start copying them. This, that's Kayla. Kayla's the trendsetter. Oh my god, Ooh, she this, is a trendsetter. There's this yeah. episode of Inse- not insecure of um Black Lady Sketch Show on HBO. Sign up for HBO Max, guys. Um, <laughs> where. And when it came out, everybody sent it to me because they were like, Kayla, this is you. And it's like Quinta and like her friend and they're like in the club dancing. And like this woman like across the, also me and Quinta have like the exact same body type. So like, that's also probably why they sent it to me. Also, they were in a lesbian bar. That's neither here nor there. Anyway, they're like (laughs) across the bar from each other and Quinta's like, dancing and like the girl across the bar is like stealing her moves and she's like yo i think she's trying to swagger jack me anyway watch the (laughs) sketch it's very funny when i tell you that everyone in my life who's ever seen me dance sent me that and i was like listen it's not my fault that i have baller moves you guys were at the holiday party two years ago you saw me Um, you you do have some fire moves yeah and it's not my fault i've got all of the rhythm Kay- yeah kayla's got like she yeah like you've trained you've trained like i tried mm. one of your moves and my hip flexors was not about it <laughs> and i was just like instantly like no n- abort abort, <laughs> abort. <laughs> i haven't oh. i haven't been in a dance party with nikki we have to change that once this pandemic is over oh, absolutely. COVID has stolen so much from me <laughs> from all of us really <laughs> like i just i just want to go out and hang out with my friends I know. You need to shine. You just need to shine. That's to what shine. it is. I need people. <laughs> hey, hey, all you, wear your masks. Huh? Social distance. Uh. I want to go outside. <laughs> do, do, it. do it for Nikki. Do it do for, it for Nikki. Nikki. And now you it's know. Murder. It's, yeah. it's, it's murder. It's murder. <laughs> also, Na- Nicole, do it Byer has a great, <laughs> Nicole Byer do it has a great, great tweet about the same thing. I'm not going to say it. But, oh, Nicole Byer? Yeah, but everyone should go oh, the read way- the tweet. Are we allowed to swear on this? What's the rating? We are allowed to swear. What is yeah, the rating? Already- Nicole Byer uh, tweeted out, like, everyone wear a mask in 2020 so I can get fucked in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> and then she made merch out of it. Um, it's very, honestly, I stand by it. Yeah, fully. I'm with Wor- her. Words to live by. Words the to message, live by. The message. The message. Confucius, she made, eh? Yeah, she made Confucius. a merch that literally says, like, I'm wearing, like, it's a mask, and it like, says, I'm wearing this mask so the coal buyer can get fucked in 2021. <laughs> it's so great. It's so good. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, yeah. Lisa, help, help me stay on track. I don't even Why? know what our topics oh, no, are about anymore. I have to stay on this track, is a weekly podcast. Come back to it next we- week. <laughs> Where Thank you. <laughs> Thank, we'll, you. We'll put a, Thank you. We'll put a pin in it. We'll put a pin in it and come <laughs> back next. Oh, look at that. Wear a mask. Do it so <laughs> Yeah. Um, Thank I'll, you for for pulling that up. I'll uh, what is it? I I can bring up some of the quick quick topics we can go over. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, we don't have to comment on them, but it's kind of just like news. Here's what is uh, what's that word I'm looking for? It's not up to date, but it's like current current news. Okay, that's what it is. Um, <laughs> I, everyone on Twitter is talking about uh, Disney shutting down Blue Sky Studios since they did the Fox acquisition. Um, they announced officially today that they are shutting down Blue Sky. Everyone's last day is going to be in April. Uh, and that's 450 employees. It's a big yikes. Um, they're in the middle of doing a uh, movie called Nimona. And according to some other tweets and stuff, they were like 10 days or 10 days, <laughs> 10 months away from finishing that production. So it's a big bummer. We're going to see what happens. But a lot of that is people mostly discussing like it's probably like a covid thing but also like hey maybe some of these mergers aren't a great idea but yeah. that's kind of the big current news in the animation thing going on um the last big movie that they did was the peanuts movie um oh. did you guys watch that one actually i was in the room it. while it played one time you what 
I was in the room. I was in the room while it was playing. One time. <laughs> does that count, Noel? Yes, yes, it does. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? I you got seen, the you gist seen more of than it. I have. You saw yeah. more of what I did. I got the gist of it. For the most part, you you were like I saw it while walking through the dentist office, and it was <laughs> no, just that's in literally the back. what it was. I was like at a dentist office, and it was just oh on the screen, gosh. and I was like, "All right, here I am now. I'm exper- <laughs> I'm witnessing this. I'm scrolling through Tumblr because I'm dating myself. I'm scrolling through Tumblr, but I'm witnessing this. <laughs> oh my god, Kayla, that's so funny. Well, but that's intense. Yeah, yeah. like that's a bummer, man. Issa, bummer. you brought us down, yo. That's uh... listen, industry news. Yeah, it's not always. It's, it's current events. It's yeah, not it's not always. Yeah, it's not always and sunshine and rainbows. It's not always that, <laughs> especially in the panorama. Do you want to know what is super dope? What we're gonna talk about this merch. I don't know if I'm if I'm doing this on time. I'm like super paranoid about missing all these cues. So You're let's fine. talk about Black Heritage Month, Black Excellence Charity Capsule. Let's uh let's get some uh some some screen caps of, of some dope merch. Shout out to James Davis. Ooh, ooh. James Davis, Bo Agunwa. Man, I hope I said that name correctly. I appreciate. I think you got it. This is the is the it's phonetic. This is the Black Excellence <laughs> Charity Capsule available now at the at store.roosterteeth.com. I messed that up, so I'm gonna start that. I'm gonna run mm-hmm. that back. It's murder. Mm-hmm. The Black Excellence <laughs> Charity Capsule available now at store.roosterteeth.com. The Black Excellence Charity Capsule is a special release benefiting the Austin Area Urban League, designed by artist James Davis, and this is phonetic. Bo Agunwa, all profits made from this collection will go to the Air, the Austin Area Urban League. I hope I did that. And then there's another one. What was the other one I was supposed to hit? Hold on one second. Was it for We're the also panel? raising money. Oh, oh, this is the panel. Man, no. there's so much happening right now. Well, no, the donation we, first. The donations. <laughs> We're doing the donation first. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me know if I'm saying this correct. We're raising money for the NAACP Legal Defense Fund and the Austin Area Urban League, organizations dedicated to fighting racial injustice. Donate now at roosterteeth.com forward slash donate to join the fight with us. Sick. Bam. Hit that one. And now are we doing the other one? What's the other one now? Is it a panel? The panels. Every Friday, we're going to have a new panel for Black Heritage Month. Uh, Check this. This week, it's Gaming in Color. I saw Blessing is on there. Hmm. Um, I think Rihanna Manguel and... Ah, thanks, Nikki. Uh, No clutch. (laughs) Y'all coming in. No, you're doing so good at this. Hosted by (laughs) Khalif Adams and then featuring Rihanna Manguel, Paris Lily, and Blessing at a... I don't, I don't know. It's phonetic. Well, <laughs> is it? I'm not sure. I, I don't want to say it wrong. Know. We know blessing. Yeah, we're, try, we're trying. Blessing to from kind, trying. blessing from kind of funny. Yeah. Yes, blessing from. Thank you, Kayla. We're a team here, guys. This is what happening. Yeah, y'all are. Look at that. That energy. I appreciate y'all. Like y'all over here, clutch. Y'all saving me. And it's I get murder. distracted because I'm looking at the volume in Issa's amazingly Shut beautiful up. hair. Look at that. <laughs> Man. Oh my. God, oh, yeah, I'm staring at it. Earlier. Yeah. Give Stop us a, it. Can you give, give us a shake? Yeah, yeah can you give, give us a shake. Little, I mean, give up, don't lose your AirPods. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Just we need to look at 120 frames a second so we can slow mo that for later. <laughs> <laughs> are those AirPods she... or AirPod Pros? Oh, no, the Pros are over the head, right? Oh, I thought those were like Maxes. I think it's AirPod Max. Maxes are over the head. Yeah, Maxes. See, Nikki has all the right information. Which is hilarious because I don't even have an iPhone. That's crazy. <laughs> Me either. I just talk out of my ass. I don't know anything about Apple, so I won't get in my money. See, I, I like that I rock the Android. I like being the green little bubble in, yeah. in all mm-hmm. of my group chats. I'm I respect that and I, I own it. I own that oh I'm the green bubble. Oh, oh, you wanted to send a video? Mm-mm. My no. no. That bug is compressed. It's all it low is quality. A potato. <laughs> yeah, it's pixels. Send it on Instagram like an adult. Download <laughs> WhatsApp. I'm not doing like no iMessage. I like to customize my phone. I got a launcher. Can you download a launcher? No, you have to do whatever whatever Apple gives you. Apple just got the ability to customize your phone this year when I've been downloading fucking DMG files or whatever since 2008 trying to make my phone Where look cute. Where you at? Where like, you at, Apple? Where you it, at? I, man, don't, I hate Apple so much. It's murder. It's murder. <laughs> oh, that's our reset. That means I've gone on too long. I Apple? Anyway. Steve I will say cool, though. I'm a little jealous of their ability to react to text messages like in the text 
Like I want to just be able to heart something and be done with it. But instead, oh, I gotta I just be... type it out how oh, it yeah. comes through for me. Because <laughs> when y'all like... do that to when apples apples do that to non apples, it comes through like liked Nick. or like hearted or like whatever. So I just like type that back and send it so they know what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start doing oh that then. God, yeah. you're so funny. what. What no, you you're mean? just so funny. You're just what so you chaotic. <laughs> I told you, you that's why. That's why when I introduced Kayla, I was like high key genius, low key diabolical. Like Kayla, <laughs> Kayla is about that life. It's you fine. want that smoke? Then, then, then yeah. I don't know if you want it. It's oh, so. Man. It's just. It's so appropriate though. It's this appropriate chaos. How I, don't, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. It's like dark. I need to fix my webcam. Hold on, my video is gonna go out. I'm sorry. What? It was so chaotic. This is wonderful. No, it's fine. It's Do fine. it, Kayla. No, I dare you. No, it's fine. It's um. <laughs> oh shit! There oh, she, she goes. Did it. She did. It. She did. It. She did it. Uh, no, dude. I. It's dark. <laughs> we can still see you. It's okay. It's dark. Can you guys see me? I mean, you're you're you, have to reload. <laughs> you have to reload. You have to refresh your VMAX now. You I do. I did yeah. it. Is that better? Oh my god! Oh, there yeah, we yeah, go. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. look at that! Yeah, I have, okay, a, it was I, have worth a, it. I have a this side of my face. I know it's shocking. You couldn't see it before. Look at my instruments. <laughs> what'd you, look what'd at you my do drums. What'd you do different? What'd you do? Um, I opened up the. Do you want to know? I opened up the Logitech fucking app on my thing and turned the gain up. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you turned on a light. <laughs> no, I, if I turned on the light, I would just turn on the light. I wouldn't have had to freeze my webcam. Hey, I, I don't, don't. I don't. I don't, you, what you say, I'm, I'm listening. I always trust you. I'm like, yo, you got this covered. I will never question Kayla. I will never. And then I'm I so the, sorry. I see the, I see the it's bass okay. you got in the back and I see them drums. Mm -hmm. What kind of drum oh. kit is that back there? Um, okay. So that's a guitar lele up top on the left. That's a guitar Ooh. ukulele. Then that's just oh. a normal electric bass. And then this is a U bass, which is a ukulele bass. I have a ukulele in my closet somewhere, but I, couldn't figure out where to hang it because my cat's like water bowl is too close to it. And then oh. those are some Elisis drums that my parents guilt got me for Christmas. <laughs> guilt. V drums? Yeah. Are, the, are those V drums over there? That's what's mm -hmm. up. That's mm -hmm. what's some up. Some E drums, yeah. E drums. Yeah. <laughs> Richard drumsticks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never going to let it die. Fight you. I'm never going to let it die. When you said you had your, when you said like you, you weren't going to hang up your other ukulele, I thought mm -hmm. you were going to say it's because your cat tries to play it. Oh, like, oh my bro, god like, well, yo please i'm afraid that he's gonna like paw at it because it's gonna be so low but here's the thing your cat figured out door knobs bro. clearly it can figure out a ukulele like well, that's the next evolution bro, up if, right if he does i'll monetize it but like that's about <laughs> like he's gonna like claw it up like it's so you know i like that one like is close to me like emotionally so like i don't want to put her in danger <laughs> um but these are just off amazon like i don't give a fuck like Earthquake, take him out. I don't give a shit. It's Earthquake. I'm down. I'm down half a stimmy. I already did that on the fucking GameStop <laughs> stock last week. It's, it's okay. fine. We don't have to talk because that's it. the we evolution. Cats it. figure mm -hmm. out doorknobs, mm -hmm. then they play the ukulele, and then after that, they're like literally investing in like Dogecoin. Like that's yeah. how that's the evolution. <laughs> made, <laughs> yeah, I made a lot of money in Dogecoin. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't make up for make up for the other one. Did not make up for what I lost on us. <laughs> I, okay, I, I'll I'll tell you what I did. I actually invested into AMC. Mm -hmm. Lost oh. a lot of money, obviously. No, lost a lot of money. One. But here's yeah. the but here's the re mm -hmm. the reality though. The reality is I wasn't trying to hop on the whole bandwagon. As a matter of fact, like weeks prior to all of the like hullabaloo, mm -hmm. I uh, I was talking with Billy Burson and that's, that's the man, Billy. Big shout out to Billy. Billy <laughs> I love you, dude. Billy, I was like, hey man, I really like movie theaters. I'm really hoping that they come back in the future because real talk, I'm over here watching movies yeah. at in in the living room. And it's so dope, but it's not the same. It's not the same. Like I can't tell you how many times I paused the movie, and mm -hmm. then even though I have the luxury of rewinding, yeah, I don't even know what the hell's going on in the movie anymore because I paused it like <laughs> fifty million times. <laughs> no, and so like the overall experience is gone. Okay, the thrill is gone. Hear me out. So hear me out. Hear me out. All right, mm -hmm. you pay me a monthly fee, like a little subscri subscri subscription service. <laughs> You pay me a monthly fee. Let's call it what's Netflix? Fourteen dollars, seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine a month. I will come to your house. I will spill soda on your floor. I will throw popcorn on your floor. I will You'll put walk Skittles right past me. on your floor. I will put crumbs in your couch. 
I will I will get that synthetic nacho cheese and I will smear it on the armrest of your sofa. I will stand about 20 feet behind you while you watch a movie and uh, scream fun snide comments while you tell me to shh. I will, $7.99 a month. That's oh all it is. Oh my God. Can you bring a kid is. to will, run up will, and down You'll be watching the movie. And it's just like. Rub up and down the aisles. Yes, yeah. Nikki. <laughs> Don't go in there. Don't go in get there. <laughs> Don't go no. in there. No. You no, don't. Like, you do you. No, who would do that? Why you. did you trip? And then Why did you fall? Seven ninety nine a month. What was the question? What are we talking about? <laughs> oh my God. We're just. Well, I was just explaining why I invested like wholeheartedly into the movie industry. Sure, I lost some money, but Mm -hmm. hey, I'm just going to let it sit in there. I'm going to let it marinate. Hopefully in like 10 years, maybe it'll come back. No, it absolutely will. It's a long-term investment. Long Y'all remember movie pass? If we ever figure this out. Oh if yeah, I remember never... movie pass. <laughs> movie Bro, pass. can I tell you I'm the reason why we don't have movie pass? I might be too. What did you do, Kayla? Oh, what did, did you, you did you do something, Kayla? When I moved here, let me tell you <laughs> movie pass? When I moved here, <laughs> I am I monopoly I feel like I'm talking too much. I feel like I'm monopolying the conversation. This monopolizing? is monopolizing. No, monopolizing. monopolizing, thank you. We are we already um, know that AT and T is taking you. So then now, what yeah, did you do yeah, to yeah, movie take the pass? Money back from AT and T. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, no, literally, I like fucking had a movie pass. I loved it. I love movies. I love cinema. I saw it's problematic now, given the Army Hammer news and the <laughs> themes of the movie. But maybe I saw Call Me by Your Name in theaters eight times because I was depressed and it was the only thing that made me feel something. Kayla! Because Italy in the <laughs> summer <laughs> is beautiful, and when. Timothy Chalamet cries into the fireplace as a Sufjan Stevens song plays. Maybe oh. that's the only thing that made me feel. <laughs> oh but my that's God, neither Kayla. here nor there. I moved here and I lived in the Amley and Mueller, which is right across from that Alamo. And where I was in my like bedroom, I could check into my movie from my bed and then like walk over there and watch a movie. When I told you I was going to the movie theater like every day for like the five months movie pass was still happening while I was here. It was it was Yo, lit, bro. Kayla I was... with the big brain plays. That that's oh the God. play right there. Yeah. That's the life. Um, I wish I was doing that. Yeah, dude. I oh. saw that. I saw um I saw oh God, what's that movie where Kate Blanchett's like the lesbian spy? Thor Ragnarok? Mm-mm, the other one. <laughs> the other one. Or no, maybe I don't know. Anyway, I saw that one in, in theaters like five times. It was Is it like you know Kara? Oh, it's so funny. Mm, not Carol. I, I, not Carol. I, I was just thinking me. of a movie with lesbians in it. I'm sorry. I don't know. Atomic Blonde? Okay. Atomic Blonde! I see, I see, I see, they I see, all I see look Sam the same, chat. Nikki. Atomic Blonde. Yeah, no, you're <laughs> right. It was Atomic Blonde. <laughs> it wasn't Lord of the Rings? It wasn't that mm-hmm. one? No, not that one. It was definitely Atomic Blonde. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that Shirley's <laughs> Throne? Shirley's Theron. I get those two decks mixed up. Um, nice. <laughs> it's okay. They look the same. They look the same. They got necks. They're like they blonde got with necks. necks. They got, okay. you know. I see it. They, they're real they, necky. It's it's very big step on me energy. Big step on getting. massive step on me energy. It's massive, yes, yes. Yeah, it's like, um, yeah, no, I confuse them all the time. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? Well, I wanted I wanted to talk about um uh what is it? Uh, a couple of the things we got on here. WandaVision. Um oh my gosh. we asked Love that before show. if you so guys good. were watching WandaVision and uh that has been a thing. So five episodes are out now um, on Disney Plus, and it is the new entry into the next phase of Marvel. And the recent episode actually had a huge like reveal. So uh, we're probably just going to talk about Mon Division if you guys uh, don't want spoilers. Uh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> Skip over this one. Uh, <laughs> but if you want to hear Nikki and Kayla talk, then you should probably stay. Because we're going to talk about WandaVision. Um, it's we murder. Asked, it's murder. We asked <laughs> you guys if you're watching. And Nikki, you were very much like, oh, my God, I love it. Um, I'm, I'm so obsessed. Like? Oh, yeah. What do you like about it? I love that. So first off, I didn't know what to expect because I didn't look into it at all. I was like, WandaVision. I was like, okay, I'm there. Done. Yeah. Um, so the first episode, I had no idea what was happening, which I think that's everybody. Second episode, I was getting it, but I still didn't really have a clue. But like over time, like it, I love how it's just slowly revealing the plot, which I guess everything does. I don't, I don't know how to explain how I love it or why I love it, but it's so good. Um, you like the pacing. Yeah, yeah. I like the pacing. I like how they're slowly revealing this information, but they're still giving you a lot in every episode. There's too much information. <laughs> Is it? 
no, I don't feel so, as so overloaded good, with this as I do with like the movies. Um, true. Like for me, WandaVision is the show where like real talk I'm watching and then every two minutes I am pausing because I'm looking up like all types of theories or like Marvel wiki or whatever. Cause I'm like, okay, I, I need to understand this or whatever. I need to know what house of M is. I need to know what all this other stuff is that you, I haven't read in the comments. You attention the past 18 years of Marvel movies. That's yeah, all you for I mean. not seeing like 96 <laughs> hours of every single Marvel yeah. movie and episode no, see, of Agent Shield. The, the, the no. MCU, I've watched all those movies a million times, but this one is, this show is awesome. Go ahead, Issa, what were you gonna say? Well, I was gonna be like, Noel, is that just your problem now at this point? <laughs> you know, like you're, you, you need to know everything and like not focusing. I'm kind of just like, is that the reason I, why you don't watch anything new anymore, Noel? I can't. <laughs> it's, a, it's it's definitely the reason why I won't get into like One Piece. I don't have time <laughs> for nine thousand episodes. Nine hundred sixty-one episodes. Oh, well, like, what's oh. wrong with just like experiencing it and then just thinking yeah. about it later? Thinking about it later? Who does that? Literally oh everyone else. Anyone? Oh my god! That's why everyone comes <laughs> yeah, together gotta, after the show to talk know now. I got to know now. <laughs> Issa, are you a Marvel? Are you an MCU fan? Um, yeah, I could. I, I'd say I'm an MCU fan. I'm. A, uh, I've watched. I remember watching the first Iron Man. I think in theaters, and that was okay. um, that was dope. Sick. Uh, I don't read the comics though. That I think that's the mm -hmm. one thing that I'm like not as like nerdy about. <clears throat> um, but I'm the kind of fan that definitely read fan fiction. Uh, for the... <laughs> who hasn't? <laughs> who hasn't? I used to write Harry but Potter I... fan fiction, so I get that. <gasps> Who? who was your ship? Oh, um, so I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> okay, yeah, we don't have the camera on, on you. We got the camera on you. We got the camera on you. I know. Who was like, your ship and why was it Ginny and Luna? It wasn't because I'm not a lesbian. I'm sorry, Kayla. I love you, though. <laughs> Do you? No, but um, so I'm going to reveal something about myself and I just really, I need your support and your love right now. Okay. It's murder. I love it's gingers. Murder. Yeah, I know. The Weasleys? So my like favorite. Ron Hermione? No, not Hermione. She Okay. Ron we self-insert? Me and my friends would write <laughs> us ourselves in. So mm -hmm. oh. Ron self-insert. Of course. Can I say something oh. heinous? What'd what? you say? No, is I gonna say something heinous? <laughs> I mean, are, is it? Are we? Are we? We're supposed to support Kayla, so you can't say anything. Yeah, that is yeah, yeah, against, yeah. Or you, we're supposed yeah. to support Nikki. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> no, I am supporting Nikki. I want to make her feel better. Okay. Oh, what are you gonna say? Um, that reminded me of uh, I was on Instagram and I saw that one of my friends from middle school had just had a second baby, and all I could think about was the Squidward X Plankton fanfic she wrote when we were in middle school, and I and the fact that she just has two humans to raise now. I find that crazy. <laughs> Crazy. I do feel We're so the same much age. Better. Two babies. Oh my god. It gets better. I feel better because I don't have babies, <laughs> nor yeah. do I have. It's better anything. because it's yeah. It's better because you wrote something respectable. <laughs> <laughs> and like I'm the same age as him, like in real life. So I feel like it's less weird for me to insert myself in that fanfic than for no, someone for sure. to take a delightful children's show, well, kind of mm -hmm. children's show, and make it just smutty smut <laughs> yeah you were just like explaining that you wanted to kiss a boy that's all it was i was like the tweet said i wasn't funny or i wasn't kissing boys in middle school so now i'm kind of funny now <laughs> yeah i was writing fanfics Dude, about kissing boys i just wasn't actually doing it it's fine exactly exactly <laughs> Man, I like how we started about WandaVision, WandaVision. and then we immediately <laughs> went Harry to Harry Potter self insert. This is exactly how it should go. <laughs> WandaVision. I'll Do tell you, you what I love about WandaVision. I'll okay. tell you what I love about WandaVision. Mm -hmm. So I just, one, I'm a huge, huge uh, I Love Lucy fan. I think I Love Lucy was probably, in my opinion, one of the best comedies of that like black and white TV era. So like, I really appreciated like how the cinematography, the lighting, all of that stuff, they really nailed it. And then like, they'll hit you with those moments that feel real, like um, X-Files creepy type of vibe. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. and then you can tell, cause like camera wise, they kind of switch from this like, uh, uh, like, what is it? Uh, 
stage type of thing with the with the live studio audience type of mm-hmm. vibe yeah. with the laugh track but then they switch into this like cinematic view while still keeping it that way and then like i just love how every time they change decades and they change from you know decade of sitcom to sitcom they're just really nailing it like like in the last one definitely had the the like what is it uh uh like full house vibes yeah really oh, yeah. like growing yeah. pains vibes a special like, the episode theme, that theme song yeah. was off the chain i was Dude, all was about hilarious. that and then just like <laughs> again like all the information like all of the like easter egg and nuance that they like shove into like a that episode was like what like 40 something minutes i think was but it? like everything you know the theme song had like special lyrics that, that that really spoke about what's happening in like in wanda's mind and like it's just a, it's it's a I don't know, man. Like they're just they're just hitting it out of damn park. Yeah. It's it's off the chain. I don't want to get into spoilers because man, it's too damn good. But yeah, like <laughs> the reveal they had at the end, mm, man, that was that was dope. Oh, we're in the spoilers. I mean, I was trying to be respectful. I guess if you want to, you can. But <laughs> no, I mean, it hasn't even been a week since the last episode, though. Uh-huh. And like, I do appreciate though that like Disney Plus, at least with this show and like the mandalorian they've adopted back to the whole like one episode a week versus like the whole binge i'm not gonna lie i'm (laughs) digging i'm digging the whole like you gotta wait a week and just let it like Mm. slow burn oh they're right bro no instant gratification wait wait wait, say it again (laughs) nikki's like instant gratification (laughs) it's about the now baby like i want to binge it i'm if I wasn't so into it, I would stop watching until the end of the season so I could just binge it. Oh my god. I, that's that's <laughs> how I watch I'm, I'm TV now. Uh just by accident. <laughs> you just got, there, I just watch community over and over again. That's uh, what I do. Yeah, that's something that, really. There's, that. <laughs> there's um uh what is it? There's something that about WandaVision that they're doing really well. And it's that they're making everything creepy in the way that it's supposed to be. Or like yeah. everything everything about it has that like hidden connotation, but that's what makes it so like delightfully Unsettling. horrific. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's that's something that is uh that that they're hitting that I think is really, really well done. But it's also interesting because you it's another way of audience interaction because you have to know the context on top of it as well. Um so it almost like it rewards you or it rewards the audience with like, oh, so you know this little bit? Well, here's that feeling that you're getting now. Um, so it's just like those layers of context that I think is really interesting and really smart. Like you don't have to know about House of M or you don't have to know about like Wanda's kids because I know about Billy because um, he's a big uh, gay character in the comics verse from what I remember. Um, so Billy, Wanda's uh, son, is a huge canon character but if you don't know about it then it's like oh well you don't have to but everything is always like more rewarding for people who know more so that's what i always appreciate about mcu i think what i what i think is like you actually you know what don't even worry about it because i had a brain fart and i was like gonna come in and like really be like oh man i'm about to add to that and then i was like nope you forgot what you You were gonna say you build missions hold on no, okay, I got it, I got, got it, it, I got it. I'm back, I'm back. What I really dig that Disney or Marvel or what, what, like whoever, I assume it's like Kevin Feige at the end of the day, but I've always had this weird disdain for the dissonance between like the the budgets that you know certain franchises put in their movies, and then when they move to like shows. So like, you know the the like flash and like arrowverse i i I always had a hard time getting into those because like you could see this clear like budgetary distinction like you're almost kind of like the costumes kind of look a certain way it kind of feels a certain way but like with the mcu this feels like you're just watching a like a a longer movie just broken up you know like 30 minutes each week but they are like hitting that whole uh i guess just standard i guess is the word i'm looking for or whatever but Kayla, you were gonna say something? Mm, I was gonna say that I don't think Daddy would want you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said it. I, said, I don't think I'm Daddy being would real. like that you said I'm that. I'm being real. Maybe, 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 maybe Daddy needs to put put me in a, in a director's seat, mm. and, and, oh. and then Noel will like walk and going, go and it's murder. <laughs> <laughs> Is <laughs> and it's gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna write myself into this plot here because I want to kiss this person. Oh my god! <laughs> Me writing enough. myself in the episodes of Black Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been 
started watching Black Lightning. I only saw the first season on Netflix. Oh my god, I'm like, okay, I'm like one season behind. And like, okay. that's another one of those shows who um shoots in it. It's another one of those things shot in Atlanta. And watching it is so hard for me. Because literally the entire first season, I'm just like, y'all weren't on a date that's the general classroom building of my college or like <laughs> this isn't a, this isn't a cracked in this is literally the apartment complex that is very expensive that my friend lived at it has a very nice rooftop and, an, and a hookah place underneath it oh you guys aren't in new york city now or whatever it is in dc like this is the metropolis this is literally just broad street like i'm just like it pulled like watching stuff filmed in atlanta pulls me out a, like really bad sometimes like Venom, oh my god, it was so like I loved Venom, but there were just moments where I was just like, ah, fuck, that's this isn't San Francisco. This is that's my mom's building. My mom works oh. in that building. She's on the ninth floor working in that building. I used to work in that building. Like <laughs> it, it. But other than that, it's a lovely show. I think everyone should watch it. I think they they didn't cancel it, but I think um, what's your name? Uh, stepped out for the most recent season. I don't oh, know why. Okay. The, yeah. Is it the oldest daughter? Or the younger the, daughter. The young. Oh, really? The, the, oh, I thought the, she the was Disney cool. star one, yeah. Oh, the Disney. Yeah, that's her, yeah. I mean, I'll say this, yeah. Kayla. Like, I Marvel, I don't think they, in the beginning when they started doing the shows, mm-hmm. I don't think they were hitting out of the park all the time. You mm-hmm. know, like, if you want to go to the, like, oh, man, Iron Fist. Like, what is that? Uh, you don't even want to. Don't even worry about it. Don't. Even I don't. Worry. Yeah, don't also, I'm not a. I'm not a Marvel person like at all. This it, is not a know, daddy like, they, plug. I just don't care. They for had Marvel. their. Oh, they had their okay, whole little like Defenders thing, you know, where it had like Vaguely. you know. Oh, they were trying to like Legends of Tomorrow it. Yes, Ex- exactly. Which yeah, was yeah, a you superior know. franchise. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you had like Daredevil, <laughs> Punisher, all those. Th- Jessica Jones, which Jessica Jones to me was great. That was okay. And then, and then you know Luke Cage, I had issues with that. It, it, see, see again they. They learned, and then now WandaVision, in my opinion, yeah. is like, well, it's, it's so far, it's perfect. They Two learned they needed perfect. a Disney budget, not a Netflix budget. Whoa! Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay, but if you ha- if you need a budget to make a good series, is it a good series? I'm kidding. I love WandaVision. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. But all I'm saying is that I have more fun watching the, like, Arrowover stuff. <laughs> I'm not stressed. Like, WandaVision, like, Marvel stresses me out sometimes. I'm like, this is too I can much. I feel that. I can like, I didn't do the research. I didn't do the homework. Yeah. I only saw Black Panther in theaters because it was black. Like, I don't know what's going <laughs> on. The last black. the last Marvel movie I willingly went to see was, like, the second Endgame? Avengers. Endgame? The second oh, Avengers. Yeah, Endgame. Did you have, like, a Infinity oh, War? The second Ultron Avengers. One. The Age of Ultron one. Age yes, of Ultron? Age of Ultron. So, like, I knew who... So, I was like, oh, that's the red dude from Age of Ult- Ultron. Weird. <laughs> Wait, Iron Man? The no, red dude? No, Jervis. Is Vision. Oh, Vision. Oh, Vision. Jervis. Yeah. Yeah. And he yeah, turns yeah. into Vision in that one, I think. Yeah. And then yes. I didn't see yeah. anything after that except for like Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, and some Spider-Mans. Uh, Ooh. Wondering Ooh. Mind Maybe. 5 mentioned Agent Carter. That was my show and I was so bitter when they canceled it. It was so good. Oh, I'm guessing nobody else I... was on the Agent Carter tip. <laughs> I, nah, was, I read it. Nah, or, nah. I read not. I read it. I watched it too, Nikki. It just wasn't like I wasn't as attached to it as uh, everyone else was, though. I don't know what problem. it was about that show, but I loved every moment of it. I loved the costumes. I loved the acting. I mm. loved the people that they casted. I loved that show. How many seasons was it on for? It's only one. Like they only Is it had just like thirteen one? episodes. They I gave thought it was just no one. chance. It was like a mini series. I thought it was two, but yeah, maybe it is just one. It, there's not enough, in my mm. opinion. Yeah, mm. I think a lot of people were, from what I remember, it was like super disappointing that they canceled it because they yeah. really could have like expanded on it, but they really nipped that in the bud like really quickly, which I was really yeah. upset by. I thought it was, I thought it was neat, even if I didn't like like it as much as other stuff. I mm-hmm. thought that they had a huge avenue to like explore on it, and they missed it. Maybe yeah. Disney or- will reboot it or something or pick it back up. I mean, are any of y'all excited about like the like the new shows like uh like what is it Falcon and Winter Soldier? Are, yeah, are any of y'all Falcon. excited about those? I just hope it's like a buddy cop film. That's that's oh. all I want. I just want it to be buddy cop like good cop bad cop. They're always like ragging on each other till eventually they just win at the end of every episode. That's the so. only way I'll watch it. The only way I'll watch <laughs> it is if it's like the canceled Fox uh buddy cop series, The Good Guys, which features 
Mm. Colin Hanks and the other one. <laughs> and see, and back to what you were saying before, they filmed that in Dallas too, like in Deep Ellum. And I used to live there and I'd be like, nah, that's not there. I was like, that's where I got super wasted that yeah. one time. <laughs> Again, that's like, not a crack house. That's where they found me on the sidewalk. That's not where that's at. <laughs> I like that though. Like I like seeing a place that I've been in a show or a movie, even if it's not where the setting actually is. Okay. I, oh, yeah. I like pausing it and trying to go like, nah, and, and then like going to Google Maps and then trying to like <laughs> replicate the exact angle. Like that's what I like doing. But it's only because rarely anything is ever really shot in, in Dallas like lately. Like if you talk to people in Dallas, mm -hmm. they will talk your head off about RoboCop. Like anyone gives wow. a shit. It's like, bro, that was filmed in the 80s, the dog. No one cares. Oh. No one about, cares. No, no, the, the original. Like no one cares about RoboCop, dog. No one cares. And then like the last thing that was filmed was like, it was the X-Men show, like the pilot. I don't know what it was called. It was one of the X-Men shows that eventually got canceled. And I got a chance to work on it, but it was under the table, so oh. I can't talk about it too much. When did you but, uh, up? What are they going to do? You work for daddy. That's like, what are they going to do? <laughs> Can't you, like, swear? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what it, I'm not allowed to refer. Also, by the way, Warner Media is daddy. Papa mm -hmm. is AT and T. It's different. Yes. <laughs> I refer to them differently. Yeah, it's important. The distinction is important. Mr. Media is is, is, is <laughs> so Papa. Funny. Like, so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. Oh man. That's very good. That's very good. We had one thing left to talk about, but I don't think we're gonna we get there, we don't right? We have Isa? a lot of time, but um, oops, I'm sorry. Watch, watch Space Sweepers, everyone on Netflix. <laughs> oh uh, shit, I forgot about that. No, it's I fine. watched it right before this thing we <laughs> talk about it. No, I got I notes. It's Those murder. That's what it is. That's it's what murder. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Space Sweepers, form an opinion on it, and then we can talk about it eventually. But it's on Netflix, so um, it's a Korean. It, the they describe it as Korea's first space blockbuster. Um, it's surprisingly more international than you may think. Uh, they legit have a guy speaking Jamaican patois on it, and I was just like, <laughs> it took me so long to figure yeah. out what he was speaking. Me too. Oh, I would. Like, it only wasn't until like I think midway when they did like the plot twist, and I was like, "Wait, <laughs> yes, that's plot Wait, you mean like, yeah, exact like, same when they spot. gave the dude. Are you talking about the dude that they gave like subtitles for? Yeah, like, they gave everybody yeah, subtitles, you know, didn't they? That they did, yeah, yeah, but yeah, like, but with it. him, I was like, wait, how come I can understand this, but what? I can't oh, understand? Yeah. Some words. Yeah, <laughs> and exactly. I was like, <laughs> I was like, do I know another language? There was one that confused me though because. It was the woman, um, like the blonde woman in the first scene or whatever. He's talking yes. to her, and when she talks, it says in German, but she's yeah, but talking she's speaking in English. I was so confused, yeah. and it's like that the yeah. entire what? movie. Yeah, I, it, I will say like this, that. man. Koreans, not only are they beautiful people physically, <laughs> but they are killing. They are killing the movie game. They are, they are killing you, the American film industry. They are game. killing it. All of like I will say I got into watching uh, Sweet Home, which is yeah. a live action adaptation of the uh, webtoons. Oh my goodness, I I had to binge that one in like a day, and then I got a chance to to watch uh, Kingdom. Yes. By the way, if you haven't seen Kingdom, <laughs> Kingdom is based. If you haven't seen the show Kingdom, if you like The Walking Dead and if you like K dramas, that's basically it. It is The Walking Dead taking place in feudal Korea off the dump. So and then amazing. Miss Space Weaver. <laughs> I just I just want to I just want to make movies in Korea now. Like they're, <laughs> they're just doing such a phenomenal job, and again, they're very very attractive people. I can't. I Korea has I been think... surpassing the American industry ever since they started doing K-pop videos. I'm oh, honestly, I mean their Wi-Fi is so fast. <laughs> <laughs> that's I and that no, is that's facts. Not a that weird, is facts. That's not a weird it's... thing. I was reading this thing the other day about how fast other countries' internet is, and I was like, are you? fucking kidding me like we're over here with like fucking dirt shit dsl fucking like connections yes. and they're just like no the government sponsored like gigabit for every household and it's free yeah. and i'm yes. just like compared to I ours i think the french would call our internet le garbage <laughs> i think that's how they would no, i think that's i think that's how uh, the french would pronounce it. it it's it's not good but 
I know we're running out of time, so like, let me let me just do a quick shout out for uh, you know, uh, be a first member and 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 create a free account and watch Dead Little Roosters now streaming first on RoosterSeat.com. Uh, you can find out more information, including rules on how to play, prizes, and more at DeadLittleRoosters.com. And uh, I'm going to promote the, the next stream that comes tomorrow. It is uh, Stay Zen with the amazing and fantastic Caden. What time is it, uh, Issa? Is it, at a, is it 11 at, in, in the morning? I'm, th I'm messing it up. <laughs> but just stay tuned for tomorrow with Stay Zen with Caden. It's off the chain. And... Uh, Thank you, Kayla and Nikki, for for joining us today. Oh, it yes. was it was a blast. It's yeah. it, it was murder. It was murder. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna be on that stream tomorrow too. Oh, dope. Oh, you are. Look at that. Bam. I got it right. 11 a.m. Central yeah. Standard Time. Yeah, they got me on this, uh, RTTV uh, circuit trying to show my podcast that's coming that they should have never given me. Um, I like that that's yeah, a tagline. Yeah, yeah, plug it real quick. Okay, plug it, plug it, plug it real quick before you oh, yeah, go. Yeah, no, the Rooster Teeth gave me a podcast. It's coming out uh, March 3rd, I want to say. The trailer's dropping on February 17th. Uh, I'm in it. Uh, Mariel's in it. Uh, Zoe is also in it. And I think it's going to be good. And maybe it will be more feral, if not as feral, as this. But who's to say? It depends it's on gonna be fantastic. Gonna it's gonna be fantastic. They're gonna edit that one. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna yeah. be murder. It's murder. I mean, it's edited, <laughs> so they're gonna cut out anything out of pocket but don't worry I'll pick, it up off the, I'll pick it up off the cutting room floor and put it on social what are they gonna do fire me what okay well, I swear. You're so well fun. thank you for joining us today everyone thank you for watching i have notes that is a that's a that's a wrap gg everybody gg's